So welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2, where last time we ran really freaking fast throughout a speedrun level with doing some speedrun tricks and had some fun in some World 3 Galaxies by sliding down a giant tr trunk thing and, well, going through the world of the Cloudy Court Galaxy. That's, I was trying to remember the galaxy name. And this time, we're gonna be even getting more stars in the new world. Not really new when we've been here for a bit. Make sure you get your complimentary one-ups if you are, well, getting a new session like I am. Uh, I, I'm glad they fixed that later where, well, the life system is just dumb, but it's an old game thing. So, Quiet Core, we can't do anything about. Tall Trunk, we're done with. We have Haunty Halls, we have Freezy Flake. There's also a galaxy over here. And then the rest of this just goes to the boss, so... I say... Let's let's get Haunty Halls out of the way. I'm not much of a fan of this galaxy. I will say, World 3 has some strong galaxies, but not all of them are that great. Sneaking down the Creepy Corridor. I guess my biggest complaint with Haunty Halls is that... It's not really that special of a galaxy. It's just like... You just run in a line for a bit, and that's it. That's all you do. Although this one's a little harder, because, uh, well, not because of these ghost Octumba dudes, but you'll have some matter mouths show up later in the level, so just be wary of that. I'm gonna just spin in the middle of you guys and get more star bits. Get all the star bits you can, because they're very helpful. What is in here? Uh, more pumpkin Goombas, okay. I, I still want to call them Jack Goombas, because... Actually, I think that might be their official name, actually. Jack and Goombas. Eh, whatever. And, uh... What's it? I, I just got done recording uh, Persona 3, so... I, I was about to call him a Pyro Jack. Or Jack-O-Lantern. But, yeah. Anyways. Which, by the way, I've been loving to do... Er, I've been loving to... What am I trying to say? I've been loving to do the series. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I love doing Persona 3. The booze won't hurt you as long as you don't look at the, look them in the eye, okay? Tee hee hee. That's a big sign. And that's a big boo. So as he said, he, uh, well, gets shy if you look at him, but... Uh, red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm being a dork, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... It is kind of funny. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't kill you if you touch them, but... It's not exactly preferable. So this galaxy is really, or well, this level is really short, especially since you could just skip this. So yeah, booze work like in other Mario games. You look at them, they will get shy and they won't follow you. So another thing too, booze will circle, or was it? They'll circle around you if you spin near them. So be wary of that. I'm hoping I can get that swing star. Yeah. Now the troubling bit. You got moving platforms while the matter mouths are destroying said platforms. Personally, just long jump like I'm doing here. You can constantly just long jump by just holding Z and A at the right timing after you get the initial long jump. So just keep that in mind. It, the matter mouths kind of make this difficult. There's no way to kill matter mouths, so at least no official way. Uh, that's going to be awkward. Please spin, please spin, please spin. Oh, gross. And yeah. We could just jump on over and grab our star. Yeah, this level was really short. The only reason it took me a little longer is because I was dorking around with the red light, green light thing. <laughs> you can tell I never played that game as a child because I did not have many friends growing up. Anyways, that's sad. <laughs> just, eh. I was usually the kid that no one really ever played with or anything, so... That's why I love video games, because I can play video games whenever I wish, I guess. I don't know. Hey! At least we get a comet level in a new world. Beautiful! Let's go and head more to galaxies. I was like, I'm kind of happy that we got one in Cloudy Core, because uh, I kind of want to see Freezy Flame for like near the end of the episode. But then again, this will probably equate to the halfway point of the episode because of the first star being so fast. Prankster Comet! This one is the Shadow Lining. Oh god, I remember this one. So this is another Comet level type. This one is Cosmic Clone level, where Cosmic Clones will chase you throughout the level and you gotta get to the star before they kill you, so. There is that, so we have some star chips around here, so. 
Just gotta go make sure we go and grab those. Up, uh, I mean, grab those. And I think the cosmic clones spawn after three are picked up, if I'm correct. Yep, I remember too much about this game. Grab this one. So cosmic clones, they're really not that hard to deal with, because here's the thing. As long as you give yourself an opening, shadow clones are just easy to deal with, because you kind of tell them where to go and then give yourself an opening, so. This you do not want to mess up. If you mess up the wall jump here, it is a pain in the ass, because uh, well, there's going to be a bunch of cosmic clones that are going to be jumping with you, so. Uh, did not mean to do that. But you can kind of see what, uh, what I mean. Like, crouching there by accident kind of delayed that one cosmic clone, so. I don't know. Cosmic clones usually aren't that bad. There's a place later in the game where they are annoying as hell to deal with, but that is not till much later in the game. They are dead. Grab their star bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got most of them. And the fun part. They spawn as your... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> no. Screw you. Stupid cosmic clones. I bonked against the crystal. Didn't mean to do that, man. That was two really fast levels right back to back. Might even have enough time to fit in, like, four or five stars. Beautiful. Yeah. Gotta love comet levels. I actually do like the comet levels in this game. I think they're a lot more... I don't know. They're a lot more unique than they were in Galaxy 1. In Galaxy 1, they're kind of just newer ways to play through the level. But in this, they're pretty much entirely new levels. And we got one in Puzzle Plank. I don't remember what that one is, actually. Let's go check it out. Besides, we get to go back to... I, I, I do want to say that World 2 is my favorite. There's a lot of iconic levels here, but... Anyways, head to Puzzle Plank. So what is this one? Because I actually don't remember. Oh, okay, yeah, Purple Coins, okay. I think this is the last type of Comet level. Purple Coin Comets, where you have to go and collect a bunch of Purple Coins. This one's really easy. Because we get to go back to this planet. This is the planet where we got a bunch of coins for the coin limit, I believe. So, the thing you want to do here is, instead of going straight forward, also there's Cosmic Clones here. I'm just going to take the hit. Go diagonally. You'll collect all the coins right in a straight line instead of, you know, going up and down. Uh oh, there we go. This is just a lot easier. I learned that from a speed run, but... You can still collect them all like that. Uh, oh god. Just gonna do that. Uh, this is really awkward. Uh, just trying to give myself an opening in. Yeah, there are a ton of cosmic clones here, so just be careful. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one open. I guess I'm leaving that one open too. Uh, I do not want to get hit. Okay. Just gonna do what I can here. Uh, gross. Okay. And hopefully I can collect these two without getting hit. Yeah. Had to give myself an opening. Look how many cosmic clones there are. And look how many died. At least we can finally see the one health tick, which is annoying, because it's like old Pokemon games where it constantly beeps in your ear. Or old Zelda games. And plus, Mario gets tired. He's very tired. Let's uh, not make him tired. Yeah, we're definitely going to fit in. <laughs> What's it, five stars? Yeah, three, like, super quickly. It only took us not even a, ten minutes just to get three stars. That's the beauty with com uh, yeah. That's the beauty with comment levels is that they are very quick. Forty and galaxy complete. Pretty nice. Oh my god, we have one here too. We're getting all of the comment levels today. All right, I will gladly take it. I, it kind of sucks because I want to go into world three and do more levels in there, but. I like getting rid of the comet levels as soon as possible, so I'm just going to take care of them now. Flip swap, here we go. And what do we have here? I think this is a purple coin? Yep, purple coin flip and sprint. Well, at least there's no chain chomps trying to murder you. Looks like it's just a bunch of platforms. Is this under a time limit? Yes, yes it is. Three minutes. All right. And I believe we can't miss one, so... I'm going to try to go as far as I can without having to spin, because uh, I thought I was not going to land that. Because, you know, spinning takes time. So, let's head over here. 
Got these, and hey, free one up. I'll gladly take it. Uh, if I can actually grab it. Alright. So we got these two platforms, which I'll jump over here for. This level's really not too bad, as long as you're patient with everything. So, again, just be patient. You have plenty of time. It's not that big a deal. So, let's grab these two. And give myself a little delay to activate these platforms, then backtrack for these two coins. And I could try to go jump around this, but I... Why do that when I could just do that? So, story of my life. Anyways, grab these two. 30 coins out of the way. And that's another few. Oh, there are chain chomps here. What the balls? Okay. Oh, grab as many as I can before they try to murder me. Uh, do that. Let's grab this one. And head over here. I am surprised I didn't bonk on that. Uh, thank you, game. Alright. Grab all the blue ones here before that chain chomp tries to murder me. And then, oh god. Alright, I'm gonna have to deactivate that one. So I can actually go and grab these. Uh, not chanting it. That's the only caveat with this level, was that the chain chomps kind of make it complicated. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Gross. It's just weird timing, so. Let's do that. Uh, I just brought you back from the uh, bring of death. Okay. Yeah, this one in particular is a jerkish one. Alright, I am just gonna wait for you to die, buddy. I do not want to save you by accident. There we go. Alright, 70 coins. Red out even more. 79. Uh, I'm just gonna take the hit. Yeah. This is because we are starting to run well on the timer. Uh, gross. I mean, we're fine. Again, just take your time. Don't worry about the timer. It's just. I, I've said this before in many LPs, but I have notoriously just been terrible when it comes to time limits. Like, even if I have a bunch of time on the screen, like, the fact that there's a timer just freaking. It freaks me out, man. The fact that there's a timer just. Makes me feel rushed, and I do not like it. That's why I had such a hard time with Majora's Mask. Uh, one day I'll cover that game, and I'll be paranoid. Oh man, we get the beautiful blue skies once again. Very nice. Very nice. 41! And some coins. So... This is just the level, er, what, yeah, this is just the episode of Comet Levels, huh? Not that I'm complaining much, but seriously, I want to see the new stuff. Well, at least we're going back to World 3 for this, but still. Alright, let's head over to here. And let's go take on Tall Trunks. Man, I feel like I'm speedrunning, but I'm, I'm not trying to, seriously. I didn't realize we were just going to knock down a bunch of stars this episode. We have purple coin slide. Oh god, this is a notorious one. So it's the slide, but you gotta pick up a bunch of coins. Now, good thing is there are more than a hundred here, but I think it only there's like twenty extra ones or something like that. I don't remember. Yes. Oh hey Ouija. How you doing here? Uh, uh, how are you doing here? Yeah, how are you doing? So I think this gear mode, these guys are called gear modes. Hey, I lost some purple coins around here. I had 140. Must have dropped them down this slide here. Could you get those back for me? Even just 100 of them would be fine. I'll make it worth your while, yes. So, there is something special here. I'll talk about that once we get to the end, but I'm gonna try to clear the star first. So, the purple coin slide's really, okay. It's notorious because a lot of people have a lot of trouble with it. I'm actually gonna go for these coins right here you get a lot more. A lot of people have trouble with this one, and I think it's just because a lot of people have trouble with the slide to begin with. Mario is a little slippery and kind of hard to control, but along with that, perspective change and the such kind of confuses a lot of people. Oh, that was tricky. Yeesh. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I've never really had that big of an issue with Tall Trunk. At least, not that I remember as a kid. I think... As long as you just do a bunch of micro adjustments, you should be fine. So, I should enjoy Tall Trunk a lot. So, at least we have 40 to miss on this. I guess the developers knew that this was kind of difficult. So, grab all these coins. We already have 100, so we can ignore everything else. We'll grab the extra two. Ow. You got him. Nice work, sweet. Stop calling me sweetie. I see a one-up behind there. So... 
here's a special thing. You get very exclusive dialogue depending on, you know, if you get the coins, if you don't get the coins. And in, what was it, in particular, there is special dialogue for if you get zero coins. I'll show that on screen here. I don't rem exactly remember. And it's actually, it's actually a lot harder to get zero coins on that than to get any. So, there you go. It's cool dialogue. It's funny. The Guillermo is just basically just like, how the hell did you get zero? And then he kills you. Yeah. Because I guess the only justifiable thing for a Guillermo to do to you if you don't do their job is to murder you in cold blood. What the hell, man? 42. Another co Okay, this one's really fast, too. We can do this one this episode. Hopefully, that'll be it of all the prankster comments we have to go and deal with this time, because, yeesh, that is a ton of them. But, hey, we got a ton of stars out of it. I fully plan on going to Freezy Flake Galaxy, but it's fine. We'll go there next episode. We get a lot of variety today. So, we got Spooky Cosmic Clone Chase. Spooky... Oh, okay, I remember this one. This one's really easy, as long as you don't get hit by Matter Mouths. Literally, the Matter Mouths are the only thing that makes this hard. Yeah, the star's all the way down there. It's really not that bad. So, yeah. Also, I, mean, I am trying to be a lot more mindful of the cursor, because I don't know why. I have this horrible habit of putting the cursor right over Mario, and I don't know why. Uh-oh, uh whoa, 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 whoa. I was not trying to do that. Uh, at least it makes it a little delayed from the Cosmic Clones. So yeah, just like what you did before, it's the same exact level layout. Oh my god, what the balls! Screw you, Matter Mouths, just get out of here. Huh. See, layout is what we did before, it's just now we have cosmic clones? Ha ha ha, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> now we have cosmic clones, but that's about it. You just have to break the glass again. Uh oh, god. Why is it that every time I talk, it starts getting scuffed? I want these before I grab the star, beautiful. That'd be jerkish if the stupid cosmic clones were still chasing you even after the star was born. Yeesh. Please let that be the end of the cosmic levels for now. Or the comets, uh, cosmic levels. The comet levels. I don't know why I said cosmic. Oh, thank God. Uh, well, sorry to make this episode entirely comet levels, but, you know, it's fine. We had to deal with them at some point, and, you know, at least this episode we got to deal with them. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll actually be exploring more of World 3, hopefully. There shouldn't be any more comment levels, I swear to God, if there are. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.